Now, it's Britain's highest mountain, attracting thousands of walkers and climbers every week. And on a beautiful day like today, who can blame them? But conservation groups fear Ben Nevis is at saturation point, with visitors discarding around three tonnes of rubbish a year on its slopes. It's led to growing demands for a national action plan to protect the Ben. Nicola McCallie reports. Heading for the hills, a glorious day to tackle Britain's highest mountain. But the popularity of Ben Nevis has created problems, with conservation groups warning it's in danger of being overrun with walkers and climbers. The Ben draws more than 160,000 people a year. Many leave an unwanted legacy, litter. I don't know that it's active, irresponsible behaviour, but it's thoughtless. Um, leaving stuff behind, um, leaving mementos, leaving rubbish, leaving um, peelings, all the usual litter problems. Um, so it's a combination of footfall and thoughtless kind of behaviour. This bit of path was worked on quite recently. Despite a recent upgrade, paths on the mountain are also under pressure. It's so busy that they require regular checking. This party of school children were there today to help clear drains. Although this bit of path has recently been constructed, already you can see that there's a bit of erosion going on. Uh, the top surface is being washed down or kicked down and filling up the cross drains. A special fund has been launched to keep the bend beautiful. The public are being encouraged to make online donations and it's also hoped local businesses will contribute. It's acknowledged more needs to be done to ease pressure, though conservationists say calls for a permit scheme for walkers would be a step too far. We have amazing access laws in Scotland and it allows us to kind of explore and find out amazing things. But perhaps we need to think about the fact that it's responsible access which is allowed and that might be giving something back, which might be money towards a charity like John Muir Trust. What do walkers today think needs to be done? If it's not looked after, it's not going to stay around, is it? So it's, if we want to keep it, we've got to be prepared to do something towards it. Obviously it's nice if you don't have to pay, but on the other hand, it's also good to be in a place where it's clean. As the Ben increases in popularity, there's a consensus that more needs to be done to protect it for future generations. Nicola, what kind of things are being proposed then to safeguard the mountain? Well, tonight, Andrea, the Scottish Government says that it actually has a £6 million fund for rural infrastructure projects. Now, the groups that we've been speaking to today say they hope their warnings will really hit home with visitors, particularly the likes of the selfie generation who might come somewhere like here, take some snaps for social media and then head off somewhere else. They want them to take stock, slow down, appreciate how fragile places like this are. They hope the Nevis Fund will help perhaps offset the high number of visitors we have here and also make people more aware of the personal responsibility that they bear when they visit such beautiful spots. All right, Nicola, thank you very much.